Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Blake Heller. Here's a look at the top stories we are following. An investigation continues in mid-Michigan this morning after a gas explosion just south of Fenton. The blast happened Wednesday morning in Livingston County's Tyrone Township, leading to road closures. It left a crater and a severely deformed pipe where it ripped open. Consumers Energy tells us there was a leak in the natural gas transmission line, but no official word yet on what caused it. The company shut off the flow of natural gas, adding there were no injuries and no interruption to service. While well, the trial of four men charged with planning to kidnap the governor will continue today after a three day pause. It was suspended because a key person came down with COVID-19. Adam Fox, Barry Croft Jr., Daniel Harris and Brandon Caserta are charged with conspiracy. Prosecutors say they were angry at the government in 2020 for COVID restrictions, which turned into this kidnapping plot. And after canceling St. Patrick's Day 2021 festivities, the big day is back. Starting at 12.02 p.m., Mass is scheduled at St. Matthew Catholic Church in Flint. It will be followed by a celebration in the Church Field House. Also on the agenda, Miss Hibernia contest, pre-St. Patrick's Day party, and a pot of gold road race. All right, here's Matthew striking the latest in your forecast. Hey there, Blake. We do have a warmer day today for the St. Patrick's Day. Just like Wednesday, we're back up into the 60s by this afternoon. General mix of clouds and sun, and we could have a few isolated showers coming in this afternoon, but anything does look to be pretty brief and pretty light. Here's a wider look at those high temperatures. A little cooler on the immediate lake shore, thanks to Lake Huron. Temperatures in the 50s. We also saw that same trend yesterday on Wednesday. But Flint, you could come close to 70 degrees today. Highs there getting up to around 60. 68 degrees. First Warren 5 Sky Tracker is a cold front to our west. That's where our shower chance comes from today. But farther down that front, over into Colorado and the Rockies, that's where we have our area of low pressure forming. That'll bring us bigger rain chances as we head into Friday night and into Saturday. So uh, for your first Warren 5 hour by hour, we'll see that general mix of clouds and sun throughout the morning and into the afternoon. Any showers that do pick up looking to be pretty light and pretty brief. Through the overnight, we continue with that isolated shower chance, but everybody turning to cloudy skies and then on Friday morning past a sprinkle we're mostly dry but it's during the afternoon where more scattered showers pick up and then that rain really starts to pick up in more widespread fashion after sunset on Friday and carrying through Friday night into Saturday that rain will slowly taper off throughout the day on Saturday now by the time everything is all done by Saturday evening we're coming in in general around half of an inch of rain but if you're east of I-75 you might be a little under that if you're west of I-75 might be coming in a little over half of an inch. Some places could see up to three quarters of an inch of rain. Overall, this is looking to be a heavier rainfall for this time of year. 70 forecast is cooler Friday and Saturday with that storm system. Highs in the 40s, but Sunday, the first day of spring, we're back to mostly sunny skies. Highs in the 50s, a nice day. And the next week, we're just tracking highs in the 40s and some smaller shower chances Tuesday and Wednesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.